Hi there, my name is George Chen and I'm the Judge Advisor for the Southern California First Lego League Region. I'm here to give you some information about project judging for the 2014-2015 FLL season world class. This year's project question is a little bit different than in years past. For those of you veteran judges, you might remember that in past themes like bioengineering and natural disasters, teams were asked to identify a problem and then create an innovative solution to that problem. This year in world class, teams are asked to find a better or more innovative way to help someone learn. To do this, they'll first pick a topic, which could be as broad as science or math, or as specific as the parts of a cell or how to figure out gear ratios. When teams have decided upon their topic, they'll create an innovative solution that will help make learning the topic more fun, more approachable, or more understandable. They'll have to consider what will be required to implement their solution, including how much it would cost, who would benefit, and what special technology might be required. Unlike in years past where teams presented a specific product as their solution, the solution this year could be a video, or a process, or a set of curriculum that will all help to explain their topic better. Lastly, teams will have to share their solution with people who could benefit from it, other FLL teams, or professionals who provide feedback. They should be able to tell you, the judges, who they shared their solution with and if they got anything out of it. In project judging, remember that teams have five minutes to present their project, including the time it takes to get set up. During the presentation, teams should be able to clearly identify their challenge question and the solution that they have come up with. Any questions you may have for the team should be saved for the five minute question and answer session after the presentation. During the question and answer period, look to the rubric to see what parts of it that the team did not manage to address in their presentation or parts that you would like some clarification on. Remember, while the rubric does allow for a not demonstrated score, we want to give all the teams the opportunity to try and demonstrate that they have completed every part of the rubric. After the team has left, rate them on each section from beginning to exemplary. Note how wording differences in some sections can be subtle. A change between an AND and an OR can separate the difference between an exemplary score and an accomplished score. Lastly, be sure to provide some constructive criticism or compliments for the team. Remember that the rubrics get returned to the team at the end of the tournament and they'll use your feedback to help improve for future events. That's it for me. Before the tournament, be sure to read over the official FLL World Class Challenge. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. Also, be sure to go over the Project Judging Prep Pack, which has an overview of your day at the competition, sample questions you can use, and a copy of the project rubric. Thanks so much for volunteering, and we'll see you at the competition.